Well, a little update on the progress here in uh, in uh, video instead of just photos. I have uh, the headstock done pretty much. Uh, I decided to make my own shape. It's kind of unique. I don't think I've ever seen any guitar maker have anything like that. And then instead of having this little cheap Chinese sort of not not really symmetrical guard over there, I decided to create my own great big uh, guard. Uh, if it's too big, if it gets interferes with the strings or something, I'll just cut it down. I'll, I'm gonna it's all gonna be trial before I make it final. And then uh, if it's too big, I'll cut it down. That sort of matches my other pick guard there. Which I also made to replace the cheap Chinese black one. And this is also going to match my Ibanez and my Telecaster. Because I brought up, bought enough pick guard material to uh, upgrade my Telecaster pick guard too. Because it's old and Chinese and black too. Well, so far to shape this neck, I've used a coping saw. It's a junky one. I probably should have bought a good one, but I didn't have the money, so I bought a junky one and I'm paying for it. I did a lot of work to get this headstock looking like that. Uh, coped the hell out of it. Was, I was having trouble coping with it, let's put it that way. And then, uh, I, uh, of course, the rest of it was done with the file and some sandpaper. Some 320 grit, actually. It's pretty fine stuff, but it works good. And uh, then I found out that the uh, tenon was crooked, and the neck was sitting in the guitar crooked. And so I took a plane and I planed off one side of it. And I put black lines on it so you could see what you were doing. And got this side shorter on the here than this side was they were different now they're closer to the same but actually it sits in the pocket nice now the distance from here to here on each side is the same so that's the neck work